My daily commute averages a duration of 180 minutes, or three hours. In the morning, I walk to the metro station, five minutes. I take the metro, 20 minutes. I walk to the bus stop, five minutes. I take the unibus, 60 minutes. Then in the evening, I take the unibus, 60 minutes. Walk to the metro station, five minutes. Take the metro, 20 minutes. Then I walk to my house, a final five minutes. This long commute through two rides every day created a time pause for me where I'm forced to sit there and reflect. Hi, my name is Ruqayya and this is where my idea started. So, based on my personal experience, I really wanted to explore how commuting affects our thought patterns and how talking about it could create a conversation on slow living and living in the present. So mainly, my aim was to show the commuting experience in the metro in an authentic way where preconceived notions are put aside and users get to experience what it's actually like. My research questions included To what extent does the commuting ritual affect our thought patterns? How do people deal with commutes in public transportation in Egypt? And can a transmedia experience actually capture and illustrate the commuting journey of Cairo's metro? I was mainly inspired by the movie Patterson, where this clip is from. When you're a child, you learn there are three dimensions, height, width, and depth, like a shoebox. Then later you hear there's a fourth dimension, time. Also, another big inspiration is Disney's inner workings. There was also a commute by Valerie. Another big inspiration is the Bear 71 experience, where it's an interactive documentary telling the story of tracked animals in the park. Their interactive map is a huge inspiration into the Mishwar's interactive map in the website that will be later on discussed. The metro has been around since 1987. It's an integral part of Cairo's modern identity. In recent years, there have been developmental projects to connect it to a wider range of trains and rails that will actually link it to every major area in Cairo. This is already strengthening its navigational power and increasing its utility, and more and more people who didn't use it before are starting to use it. According to my survey, 89% of non-users are interested in public transportation as a concept, and 56 are already planning to start to use it. And this identifies my target audience. I am targeting people who want to know what the experience is like, and they can experience that through my transmedia project. To validate my choice of choosing the metro, I decided to do a little experiment where I tried out the metro in comparison to other public transportation options like the microbus and the city public bus. My main takeaway was that the public bus and the microbus are very similar in their experience. In comparison to the metro, they are a lot more unreliable since the metro has a solid schedule and always follows it. So my conclusion is that the metro is less of a hassle to use than in comparison to the others and it's more dependable and reliable and so more people are more likely to use it. Let me walk you through the user journey. The main platforms are AR posters, a website, a 3D short film, and a soundtrack. Users would start off by seeing AR posters and the posters would direct people to visit the website where the website has an interactive map of the metro lines and a space to archive short stories or little snippets from their day that correspond to a station or a line. The website will also have a call to action of to watch the short film. The 3D short film follows Ryan's train of thought from what they got on the metro until they step off with a focus on the environment and sound. The soundtrack will be a track list of ambient sound from each line that are used in the interactive map on the website. However, this will be more in-depth and longer. My main character is called Ryan, an 18-year-old art student loosely based on myself. The character design process started off with different sketches and ideas, and I ended up with this version, 
which I think would translate well across all the transmedia platforms. Wanting to include more characters in the short film to tell the story of more than one character. However, my time frame wouldn't allow for a 3D production of that scale. And so I decided to consolidate into one main character that is a lot more manageable, that would also translate really well with my, the rest of my experience. Another limitation is that I couldn't film with a professional camera in the metro because of rules and regulations, so I had to opt for phone footage that need, is a lot less in, qual in the quality that I wanted to go for. And yeah.